Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and today's video will be a tutorial on this look right here. It's very blue, very smoky and very much out of my comfort zone. I never wear blue eyeshadows. In fact, I don't think I've ever worn blue eyeshadow. However, I did have a lot of fun with this look. If you do enjoy it as well, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any more videos that I post. And with all that being said, let's get onto the tutorial. Hello, hello. We are up close and personal once again. I am going to be starting with the eyes. So first of all, I'm going to be taking the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm using the Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush to apply that all over my lid and blend it in and this is going to be great as an eyeshadow base. I'm just going to quickly set that base in place. Guys, oh my goodness, if you watch my channel regularly you would know that I'm obsessed with this thing and Astralis recently released it in a pressed pan form so I am honestly obsessed. For today's look, I am going to be using all Makeup Geek eyeshadows. So the first shade I'm going to be taking is Tiki Hut. And I'm just going to be using the Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush to run that through my crease as my first transitional shade. As I'm applying this to my crease, I am also going to slightly drag it down on that outer corner of my eye, just so it helps with the whole blending process when I apply the rest of the shadows. To add a little more depth to that crease, I'm taking a slightly darker brown shade. This is Coco Bear. And I'm going to be using the Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer to apply that to my crease as well but I'm not going to blend it out as far as I did with that Tiki Hut shade. So as you can see I'm putting this right in that socket of the crease just to help define the eye a little more. Next up we have the star of the show. This is Makeup Geek's foiled eyeshadow in center stage. As you guys can see the pigmentation of this shadow is absolutely insane. And if you guys are wondering, the brush that I'm using is the Zoeva 232 Luxe Classic Shader Brush. So as you guys can see, I'm just applying this all over my lid up to the crease so it blends in with those transitional shades. Oh my goodness, guys. The pigmentation is seriously just insane. I can't believe how intense this is right now. So as you guys can see, that lid shade is on and popping, but it's looking a little bit too defined for my liking. So to kind of help smoke it out into the crease a little better, I'm going to take the shade Mocha or Mocha, however you like to pronounce it, from Makeup Geek and use the Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush to run this through my crease yet again because we don't want it to be super, super defined in the crease like it is sitting at the moment. And this will not only help to add more depth to the crease but it'll also help that blue kind of blend in a little better so it doesn't look so harsh and defined. So I could totally leave the look like this but I want to add a little something something on that outer corner of my eye. So I'm taking the Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Corrupt. It's their matte black eyeshadow and I'm using the Sigma E70 medium angled shading brush to slightly, ever so slightly, apply some black shadow to that outer corner. Angled brushes like this are great when applying shadow to the outer corners of your eyes because it's really easy to get that nice cat eye type of look going. So it's at this point where I like to blend out that outer corner a little. I pretty much just take whatever is left on the brushes that I use to apply shadow to my crease and just blend, blend, blend. I'm also just going to quickly touch up that lid shade because sometimes when you go in and like blend away the crease for hours on end, that lid shade is going to move a little. So just going to quickly touch it up. I'm going to do a wing for this look. I was kind of debating whether I should or not, but I'm going to. So I'll be using my NYX liner. This is their matte liquid liner. I love this stuff. It's so good for getting a nice winged liner without it kind of taking over the look because sometimes winged liners can be kind of shiny but this one dries matte so that's why I really like it. 
I'm just giving my lashes a quick curl and then I'll be applying a light coat of the Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara because I will be putting falsies on. For falsies, I'm going to go with the Cocoa Lashes in the style Diva. I bet some of you guys thought I was gonna say Queen Bee, but no, I'm switching it up and I'm trying out the Style Diva. I have worn these falsies before, but we're just gonna have to see whether they go with this look. I'm gonna get started on the face now. So it's at this point where I take a baby wipe and kind of just clean up if there's any fallout. You definitely wanna make sure that you get rid of all that fallout. To be honest though, Makeup Geek eyeshadows have done me pretty good today and I don't really have that much to deal with, which is good. Alrighty, I'm just going to hit my face with some primer. I'm using this bad boy today. I've been testing this out for the past week and I've been obsessed with it. This is the Astralis Midas Touch Serum Primer and guys, it's actually pretty good. If you can get this, I totally recommend you to try it out. So I'm just taking oops, a couple little drops in my fingers. It smells so good, guys. It smells so good. For foundation, as you can see, I'm shaking this bad boy up. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I have not worn this for a good hot minute. So fingers crossed this is going to match me because yeah, I haven't worn this in ages. So I'm not 100% sure if it's my right shade, but we got to work with what we got. I hate that this doesn't come with a pump. That really annoys me, but you got to do what you got to do. So I've just put some on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to work in sections because from what I remember, this foundation it smells like paint. As I was saying, from what I remember, this foundation um, dries really quickly on the skin. So I think that's my right shade. I'm not 100% sure. If it isn't, we'll deal with it. <laughs> As you guys can see, I'm just using my dampened beauty blender to apply this. I honestly feel like the beauty blender has taken over every other foundation brush I used to use. Like I can't ap apply a foundation with anything but my beauty blender, which is kind of sad because all my other brushes don't get no love anymore. I'm gonna go in with concealer now. So I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Everybody loves this stuff and I totally get why. I actually wasn't sure how I felt about it, but since I have been using it a lot more lately, I get the hype, I get it. Since I do have such a bold color on the lids, I really wanna make sure I get rid of all that darkness underneath my eyes. It doesn't show up that much on camera, but trust me, girl, there's definitely some darkness there. That's why I've chosen to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, because this stuff gets the job done. I'm also just gonna take a little bit not too much because this concealer really honestly packs a punch. As you can see, it has fully brightened up that under eye area. So I'm just going to take the smallest amount and run some down the bridge of my nose, above my brows and on my chin, just to brighten up those areas a teensy bit. Damn, my face be looking like Casper the Ghost right now. So <laughs> we're going to fix that up with some bronzer. But first of all, I'm just setting that concealer in place. I'm just going to quickly set the rest of my face. I'm using the Benefit Hello Flawless Pressed Powder. This powder is actually really intense. Like it is very full coverage. So I only like to go in with the tiniest amount because I don't want my foundation to kind of cake up throughout the day, so just the smallest amount will do. All right, it's at this point where I'm thinking that that foundation was not my color, but that's okay, guys. I'm gonna fix it up with some contour and bronzer. So I'm just gonna take my Kat Von D shade and light palette, and I like to use this shade right here to contour with. So I'm just gonna go ahead and contour my cheekbones, my jaw, and my nose. I'm gonna try and add some color back into this face, girl. For bronzer, I'm gonna use the MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer. This is like an oldie, but a goodie for me. And since I'm over here looking like Casper the Ghost, I gotta really add some warmth to my face. And this bronzer will do exactly that. It's really orange toned, and I know that sounds bad, but in my situation that I'm in right now with my foundation, this will hopefully fix everything up. For blush, I'm going to continue on with the warm tones. So I have here the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Rosé Champagne and legit, like they say it's called Rosé Champagne and I would picture that to be like a pinkish blush, but in all honesty, this is very peachy. I like it so much because it has a really beautiful gold reflect throughout it. So it looks beautiful when you apply it to the cheeks. 
I still need to finish off my eyes, but before I do, I'm going to highlight. So I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in Precious Petals. Legit guys, the hype on this is way too real. It is such a beautiful highlighter for an inexpensive price. So I totally recommend if you're looking for a really good drugstore highlighter, check out this one by Wet n Wild because it is honestly bomb. I'm just finishing off the eyes now. So as you can see, I am applying the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion to my tight line as well as my waterline. I'm just running some of the Tiki Hut eyeshadow across my bottom lash line and smoking it out a lot because I want it to match what I've got going on on the lid. So... Smoke this out, and if you guys are wondering, I'm using the Sigma E30 pencil brush. Next up, I'm just gonna take the Mocha eyeshadow and I'm running that along my bottom lash line, but keeping it a lot closer to the lash line, and I'm also going to slightly blend out that pencil liner with it as well. And then to finish off the eyes, I'm just applying some mascara to my bottom lashes. Before I forget, I need to add a little pop of highlight to the inner corners of my eyes. So I'm just going to go back in with the same highlighter I used on my face and just pop that on in there. Onto the lips now, I'm going to line them with the Rimmel Lasting Finish Lip Liner in Natural. Now for lipstick, I'm keeping it pretty basic and sticking with a nude. I'm using the Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in 728 Honey Beige. I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face with the Urban Decay Setting Spray. This is their Chill Makeup Setting Spray, which I love because it is very hydrating. Alrighty guys, this is the final look. Let me know what you think of it down below it's definitely not something that I would wear on the regular in fact I don't think there's ever been a time where I've worn blue eyeshadow let me know what you think of it down below in the comments and I also want you guys to tell me what kind of makeup looks you'd like to see me do in the future as always I will have a full list of all the products that I use throughout this video down in the description box where you can also find all of the links to my social media accounts so if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and now Facebook because I just made myself a new Facebook, then don't forget to check out the description box because that's where you find all of the information. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And if you're still here watching and you aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos that I post. And with that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week and I will catch you all in my next video. Stay glowy.